And Yahuwah, the Father, spoke unto Moshe, Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Yasharel, Israel, and say unto them, Concerning the feasts of Yahuwah, which ye shall proclaim to be holy assemblies, even these are my feasts. Exodus 12.21 Then Moshe called for all the elders of Yasharel, and said unto them, Draw out, and take you a lamb according to your families, and kill the Pesach, the Passover. And ye shall take a bunch of hyssop, and dip it in the blood that is in the basin, and strike the lintel and the two side posts with the blood that is in the basin. And none of you shall go out that door of his house until the morning. For Yahuwah will pass through to smite the Mitzrayim, the Egyptians. And when he sees the blood upon the lintel, and the two side posts, Yahuwah will pass over the door, and will not suffer the destroyer. And ye shall guard this thing for an ordinance to you and to your sons forever. Exodus 12, 17 And ye shall guard the feasts of Matzah, for in this selfsame day have I brought your armies out of the land of Mitzrayim. Therefore shall ye guard this day in your generations by an ordinance forever. First month, on the fourteenth day of the month, at the even, ye shall eat matzah, unleavened bread, until the one and twentieth day of the month, at even. For whosoever eats that which is with Jamets, even that soul will be cut off from the assembly of Yasharel, whether he be a stranger or born in the land. Exodus 23.16 And the feast of Katsir, the first fruits of your labors, which you have sown in the field, and the feast of Asif, which is in the end of the year, when you have gathered in your labors out of the field. Three times in a year all of your males shall appear before Adonai Yahuwah. No chamage shall be upon my offering of blood, and no fat of my feast shall remain until the morning. The first of the first fruits of your land you shall bring into the house of Yahuwah at Oweka. You shall not see kid in his mother's milk. Leviticus 23, 24 Speak unto the children of Yasharel, saying, In the seventh month, in the first day of the month, ye shall have a Shabbat, a memorial of blowing of shofars, a holy assembly. Ye shall do no servile work therein, but ye shall offer an offering made by fire unto Yahuwah. And Yahuwah spoke unto Moshe, saying, also on the tenth day of this seventh month is Yom Kippurim. It shall be a holy assembly unto you, and ye shall afflict your souls, and offer an offering made by fire unto Yahuwah. And ye shall do no servile work in that same day, for it is Yom Kippurim to make an atonement for you before Yahuwah, Elohim. For whatsoever soul it be that shall not be afflicted in that same day, he shall be cut off from among his people. And whatsoever soul it be that does any work in that same day, the same soul will I destroy from among his people. Ye shall do no manner of work, it shall be a statute forever throughout your generations in all your dwellings. It shall be unto you a Shabbat of rest, and ye shall afflict your souls in the ninth day of the month at evening. From evening unto evening shall ye celebrate your Shabbat. Leviticus 23. 33. And Yahuwah spoke unto Moshe, saying, Speak unto the children of Yasharel, saying, The fifteenth day of this seventh month shall be the feast of Sukkot, for seven days unto Yahuwah. On the first day shall be a holy assembly, ye shall do no servile work therein. Seven days ye shall offer an offering made by fire unto Yahuwah. On the eighth day shall be a holy assembly unto you and ye shall offer an offering made by fire unto Yahuwah. It is a solemn assembly, and ye shall do no servile work therein. Leviticus 23.39 Also, in the fifteenth day of the seventh month, when ye have gathered in the fruit of the land, ye shall keep a feast unto Yahuwah seven days. On the first day shall be a Shabbat, and on the eighth day shall be a Shabbat. And ye shall take you on the first day the boughs of goodly trees, branches of palm trees, and the boughs of thick trees, and willows of the brook, 
and ye shall rejoice before Yahuwah Elohim seven days. And ye shall keep a feast unto Yahuwah seven days in a year. It shall be a statute forever in your generations. Ye shall celebrate it in the seventh month. Ye shall dwell in Sukkot seven days. All that are Yasharel born shall dwell in Sukkot. That your generations may know that I made the children of Yasharel to dwell in Sukkot. When I brought them out of the land of Mitzrayim, I am Yahuwah Elohim. Moshe declared unto the children of Yasharel, 